What's going on guys? We are five weeks out from a bodybuilding show and right now things have been just very smooth sailing. Um, I've noticed my strength has been fantastic all throughout this prep. I really haven't lost much at all. This prep we've been dropping calories very slowly, very carefully, and we've kept cardio almost completely the same until just very recently we added you know an extra 20 minutes but I was only doing 40 minutes a day in the morning for the majority of this prep like I said we recently added a 20 minute session later on after my workout but we're still going strong I'm holding on to my size definitely like a bit flat right now but we're getting harder which is key coach Nelson has been very strategic with making sure I don't get too flat but I'm also staying hard so you know the moment I lose the hardness and I'm very flat and that's a problem. We have to, you know, perhaps add a refeed, but luckily we've only had to do that one time so far. So what we're doing right now <clears throat> is we're doing uh, low days and high days. So basically the high days where we're eating higher carbohydrates are the training days. I train five days a week. Uh, I have two rest days per week. So the two rest days are the low days, which definitely suck. Not a lot of carbs like a tiny bit of oatmeal in the morning and there's like two beef and rice meals that have just like a tiny bit of rice in them. Always remember like if you're on a diet and you're suffering, that is your body like burning away the fat. It's uncomfortable to lose the fat, but if that's what you want and you want this, you want to lose fat and you want to get shredded, you kind of just have to embrace the discomfort and think when you're in those times of suffering like, haha, like this is it. This is me getting shredded and doing what 99% of people can't do. You see the people are like, oh, I'm on a diet now. Yeah, and then they go on for like a week and then they're done. You know, that's why they don't have results. You know, I'm always very confident every day with how you know my mental state is. And you don't want to bring emotions into food. You don't want to be like, oh, it's my food time. I'm so excited to eat this because it's the one meal. Like, no, you don't want to get in that mindset where food becomes an emotion. That's when things tend to spiral. So this prep, I focused on just seeing food as fuel. Whatever Nelson tells me, I'm going to eat. Whatever he says, don't eat. And obviously, I'm not going to eat it. Always think too, when you're dieting, you're still eating a lot of food. You're gonna be eating six times a day, proteins, probably a little bit of carbs and veggies. So think about people who are literally starving, other parts of the world or in this country. Like they're just scrambling around trying to get a crumb of food. So you're really not starving. You're actually quite, you know, nourished. It's just, you're losing fat, you're losing weight. It's uncomfortable because you're not able to eat your crap, junk, whatever it is you like to eat. McDonald's, I don't know. But the more consistent you stay with your diet, as I said, you're gonna get peeled. You're gonna look good. You're gonna get abs and you're gonna get veins. You're gonna get separations. Put in the work. That's all it is, guys. Let's go over my meals. So this is what I eat on my training day. For breakfast, we do one whole egg, 6.5 ounces of tuna, comes in the little packets you can buy at the grocery store, 80 grams of steel cut oats, weighed dry on the scale. Meal two. My pre-workout meal is 220 grams of white rice and eight ounces of any lean meat. I've been going with lean ground chicken. It's very easy to prepare. I'll literally just cook it on the pan in bulk, throw it in the strainer, just to strain the extra grease and fat off it, and store it in a container. And you know, I have three or four servings of it right there in the container. Before I go to the gym, I still eat, you know, two Rice Krispie treats help with the pump, help give me, you know, mental buzz. It's still like carbs that we calculate into my calories. Around your workout, you can kind of get away with the more simplistic carbs like sugars, but that's really the only sugar we're eating throughout the day other than the fruit. After my workout, two scoops of protein powder, very basic, and right now doing uh, one and a half bagels. So we were doing two before, but now we're doing one and a half Slowly cutting down the calories, like I said. Uh, bagels are great, man. Very easy to digest, good for a post-workout carb source. The meal following that is more lean protein, ground chicken with 150 grams of white rice. And the rice is weighed wet, so like after it's been cooked. So this isn't dry weighed rice. Meal five is eight ounces of lean beef. I try to get the leanest I possibly can, 97 if they have it, but always just draining the extra grease from it to make sure it's as lean as possible. And that I'll have with another 150 grams of white rice. And the last meal I eat before bed, at night I don't really like to eat heavy like meats, chicken and beef and fish. I, I literally, it's the last thing I wanna have at night before bed. I've been doing Greek yogurt. We're still doing two cups of the light and fit, 20 grams of peanut butter, 57 
grams of cinnamon raisin Ezekiel cereal. It's like a fibrous carb to have. It's good before bed. It helps push things through and helps everything else digest. And we're gonna wash that meal down with one scoop of protein powder for extra protein. So that's what my train day meals look like. I'm sure they might, you know, decrease again. We'll see what Nelson does. We'll have to see how I look and go from there. We're right on track and I'm very happy with how the prep's been going. Feeling very confident. The off days suck. The off days are not fun at all. I have barely any energy, barely eating any carbs, and um, all the meals are kind of lame. All this time, money and effort, don't let it go to waste from just eating some craft food you could easily have eaten after the show. I'll do it. <laughs> so we're gonna see if I can get some footage at the gym. Uh, I already got leg day, kind of like the full workout on my channel posted, but we'll see if I can maybe get some interesting stuff like the pendulum squats today. Like, share, subscribe. Leave in the comments what you want to see next and how you feel about these videos and I'll see you in the next one. show you a little bit of posing I just ate my pre-workout meal so this will actually help flush some of the nutrients in my system and process that meal I just ate so just show you guys where my physique is at <laughs>